Welcome to our live sale preview video. Um, these are the items that we're going to have in today's sale, and I will have this video go up um, early for all of the members to get first look. That's part of y'all's perks. Thank you again so much for, for um, joining and becoming a member. We really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, you guys get first look, and then later on in the day, I'll have... Well, I can't wait too long because our sale's at two. But later on, I'll make this go live for everyone. So here are the items that we have. We got some really cute little ginger jars. I'm always attracted to these and not necessarily because of their shape, them being a ginger jar, but because of all the pretty colors and the artwork that's always on them. Like these roosters match the little soup bowls that we just had. And this with all the green and the butterflies, I love them. So we have these ginger jars. Then Aaron spotted a longa burger basket. And this one comes with a little charm. We've not found one with a little charm, though I'm sure it's probably pretty common. But it has its um, little fabric and it has its plastic insert. So that's a plus. Then I have two more of these um, needlework. This one is Bee Hoppy and totally like, I, I, I saw it said Bee Hoppy and it has a bunny, but you know, the beer, that's, it all correlates. <laughs> it all goes together. Then this one, what's Kraken? So it's the story about the Kraken that's in the ocean. Um, it's, you know, like, um, uh, a sailor's story, a pirate story. So that is one of my favorite ones that I found of these things. Gabriel will have another Dagenhart dog. This one doesn't glow, but he really likes the, the blue color. So he has another item up for sale. And then we found this little doll. Now, a lot of you, whenever we um, go to the flea market and we pass up dolls. I, I, I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't know anything about dolls other than um, I know a lot of these kinds were um, like mass produced and like the porcelain dolls, not all of them are necessarily collectible, but there are dolls that intrigue me. Like I buy doll parts of like the uh, composition dolls and stuff. But we, we got this one at the thrift store. It was in a little box. Um, and she just had Paradise Galleries. I haven't looked her up or anything. But I thought she was cute. She's small enough. You can, um, and she still has her box and her pretty little paper. So like you could give her as a gift or something if you wanted. So I thought that was cute. So we got that. I have two more uh, reference books left. This one's really neat because... This has um, all kinds of like different um, lighters, ashtrays. Look at these like tabletop lighters. I'm always drawn to those. Part of me is like, Alex, why are you getting rid of this? Like, look at those swan ashtrays. And look at this, the cool cigarettes. I think my mom was telling me that her dad, like, way back when, when she was a kid, that was, like, the cigarette. Kind of like how Marlboro, Marlboro is, uh, like, popular and, like, the cigarette these days. Like, you did, you weren't cool if you didn't smoke cools, basically. Look at that ashtray. Isn't that neat? Hi, squeakers. But I just thought this book was so cool. And there's so many things I've never, not even in, like, antique stores have I seen any of this stuff. Look at those. He carries, who would have thought that? He carries the cigarettes there and matches. That's so neat. Okay, so I have that. And then I have a collector's encyclopedia of bookends. I mean, there's like, there's a book for just about everything. Just like there's a YouTube video for just about everything. And there's so many of these as well very cool they just almost everything back then um what looked like art you know looked like this I think that's why uh 
there's such a draw to them and they're, they are collectible because it wasn't just like a paper plate, you know, that you throw it away. Okay, then we have this bowl. This one says, hold on, let me try to turn it around. China, and then it says hand-painted Nippon. But I think it's beautiful. I love that it sits up on its little feet. Then I found this. This was neat because, well, I think anyway, because you never, I never see them um, quite like this with these giant magenta colored flowers now it does have a little boo-boo right there but they always do so i really liked this one so i got that then we're gonna do the hager planter now i got a question about this saying do you think you know the date and i was guessing late 90s kind of early-ish 2000s by the part of the label i could see well on this label it actually does say 2004 so I was kind of right. Actually, I was right. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take the fact that I was right. All right. We have this really cool wall pocket little slipper thing. We have a Fenton cat with a purple sparkly collar. My kind of cat. I'm going to walk back over to the other side of the table. I have a couple of these uh, cloisonne vases. So those are great. And then a cinnabar vase. That's beautiful, isn't it? Then here is the Mac Daddy of the birds that we found the other day. So that's the tall one. Um, they were very intriguing. Like, look how nice the bottom is polished. I can't find who makes these, and they're a really nice weight. Oh, but yeah, we picked those up the other day. Here's the other one, and we sold the other, um, oops, it's blurry, the other mashing bird. Look at that caning in there, like how they do that. Again, another nice clear bottom so I mean not every <clears throat> not every um, glass company that you know is it like more expensive or sells well has a clear bottom because um, I know a lot of people look for the clear bottom not every company does that I mean there's companies with um, really reputable names that they have, you know, um, they, they're not clear. So don't let that really um, make your decision for you. Um, but in this case, the person took time and care enough to polish the bottom, which um, makes one think it would be a little more expensive. So, all right, I got this beautiful black transfer wear bowl. It has this really pretty... Um, ship picture on the inside with the birds and the water I'm not sure about this one like who made this one but I'm gonna put this in the sale as well and just see it could be a just a decorative bowl on the whoops on the counter or something <laughs> then I'm gonna do these and these are the hold on let me get all the sticker Lou Ray pastels now, I, I've had a book, I can't tell you what books, I have many, that talk about the pastels and how popular they were, This the, the pastels collection. Um, so you got a cream and two sugars. Now, I'm going to sell these two, and this one is just going to be in there. Like, I'll just give that to you guys, so, um, because I just couldn't leave it on its own. I'm like, they went together. <laughs> so, but here it is. Lou Ray pastels, very deco handles, very nice blue pottery. Then I found this old floral vase. It's, I'm always attracted to these. They don't necessarily do very well in my sales, um, but 
I'm always attracted to them. It's very like wonky. So you could tell that, I don't know if you could see it in here, that it was handmade. You see, this is not very straight, it's hand blown. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I love these. I love these things with like little scenes and florals and these pops of color. It's just a little dish. And I wanna say it says Japan, yeah. Made in Japan on the bottom. But it's just a nice little thing. And it's shallow enough that you could probably use a regular plate hanger if you wanted and add this to like a gallery wall. Or if you guys don't live somewhere that's very humid, you can get those plate hangers that kind of stick to the back. Our, mine would just fall off the wall, so I can't really do that. This, if you came to our sale on Thursday, I was describing that I found these with the little cloisonne eggs that we found. These are probably my favorite. So they're egg shapes, but let me see if I can. They're see-through, right? They painted their art on the inside. So you see the bird? So that's all on like the inside of the glass. So these like crane birds for that one. And on this one, hey, squiggers, no, do not scratch the table. We have this guy here. He might be uh, only, mm, I was gonna say a fisherman, but maybe not because usually the fishermen have the fish with them. And he looks like he has a peach or something. But then there's this guy here. I don't know much about them other than I just thought they were very pretty. And then this one with all the trees. So that's, they're all hand done and they're painted on the inside, if you can see that in there. So cool, how the heck they did that. But they all come with little bases, so you can stand them on the bases and of course their own box. A little locking mechanism on there. We have this little Italian pottery dish. I got it all washed up, it was really gross. <laughs> um, I was very surprised to find this and nothing was broken on it. I said, I'm thinking to myself, for sure, I'll get home and something's going to be broken, but like, I'll find it other than that. Um, but nope, very cool little trinket dish from Italy. We have these Ray Dunn uh, dog bowls. We have drink up and feast. I love these things. My cats have some. They have little cat bowls. Then we have these scales. I'm gonna try and clean these out. Um, it needs a little TLC, but like Aaron had a good point. You guys aren't gonna use them. <laughs> it's just gonna be display purposes. So I'm just gonna clean them up a little. Then I have these beautiful tulip lamps that were gonna be sold as a pair. Hold on, let me come over here. I'll turn them off so you could see what they look like. Their shades are like a white and a pink. See? So they're meant to look like antique lamps. But this is what I mean when I say I've never been able to find a real authentic period antique lamp like this I usually buy the ones that are replicas because they're never in my budget. So that's how I buy my lamps. Those will be vintage one day, you know? Well, they probably are. They'll be antique one day. So then we have these native um, looking wall pockets. I thought these were ever so cool. Wind Chant by L. Smith, 1987. I gotta look that up. So that's what this is depicting. Wind chant. Very cool. So we have those. And then I have these great palm tree candlestick holders. They're a metal and they graduate in size. And how nice would these be? Well, for any time, but especially for like summer and stuff, have a little tropical vibe going on. Love those. Then, this needs to be cleaned up too, but 
This is like a Grecian piece. You got the sort of Greek key looking thing going on up here. Oh, I just love it. I love how they do black and copper. That's so my jam. It has a little bit of um, wear to it, but I still thought it was beautiful. Then these uh, sell really well in the sales. I only found two this time. Usually there's three and they graduate in size, but I only found two this time. So that's all I have for that. Then we have the Lennox lamp, the Lennox Cardinal lamp. This is a candle lamp. Um, if you guys like Lennox or if you collect the Lennox Christmas collection, excuse me, squeakies. Um, this is a great piece to have. So it's got the Cardinal on there. There's a couple patterns, but um, this one is my preferred pattern. The other one has like a plaid on the bottom, but I like that more focus on the bird. And I think the last item I didn't show you was this rooster wall pocket. He has a little wear to his little cold paint, but he was so neat. So you can sit him down or you can hang him on the wall. And he looks like he was hung on the wall because he's got an old like attachment back there. But anyways, guys, I hope that you find something in this, in these items that, um, that you like. Um, I didn't tell you, I guess I didn't tell you what would be an offer up, what would be a flat price. I can give you a little bit of an idea. Okay. So those I think would be an offer up. This would be an offer up. The Ray Dunn would probably be a flat price. These would probably be an offer up. This might be a flat price. This is probably going to be a flat price, flat price, offer up, flat price, maybe an offer up. Cause I'm not sure. Flat price for this, probably flat price. Probably an offer, <clears throat> offer up because now there's two and I usually sell three, so I'm not sure. Probably a flat price. Offer up, offer up. Maybe offer ups for those. Flat price. Mm, not sure yet. Offer up, flat price. Maybe an offer up because I have no idea. Offer up, offer up, offer up. Flat price, flat price down here. Gabriel's dog is an offer up and the books will be a flat price. So that's an idea, but I hope you found something in this sale um, that's intriguing enough for you guys to make sure you come visit us at two this afternoon because we would love to have you guys. Um, thanks again for the members for joining and I hope you like your sneak peek and I will see you guys after a while. Bye.